This is John uh, from Miles and John's Adventures. Welcome back. Today we bought a generator because we have a huge trip coming next month. We're going to Montreal, Canada and then uh, parts of the United States. So stay tuned for that uh, upcoming video. But yeah, so we bought a generator today. We bought the generator at Menards. About 900 and about 900 miles we paid 980. Um, it is a 4,500 watt inverter, so we are going to uh, try to set it up and uh, see how it works. Um, so we'll unbox it, and it, it is a dual propane gas, so it runs on gasoline and propane. And uh, obviously it comes with the manuals. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing opened up. It does come with some tools. We're trying to get prepared for our trip up north, so we uh, to make sure if we don't have power on our trip that we can uh, still enjoy our camping. Um, because there's a dual fuel unit, this is the uh, LP gas uh, regulator to run on propane. That's what we're going to try today. We're going to try to run on propane. Uh, so I'm going to set the phone down so Miles and I can help uh, pull us in on the box, and we'll come right back. Yeah. So we're adding the oil. I did check it. It is full. So just put the dipstick back in, tighten it up. Put the cover back on. Lock the door. And I said, it is dual fuel. So unleaded fuel here, propane here. We picked it for that reason. So if we have propane, which we always do on board, and if we need unleaded, we can just fill it with gas. We have two ways of going, no matter what. We won't run out. So the, uh, the generator did come with this. So you hook it to a 20 pound or 30 pound LP tank. Just connects there. But because our camper has a quick connect line for the propane. So um, the unit comes without oil in it, of course. They do give you a quart of oil, a funnel. But we just have to take this side cover off with the screwdriver that's provided. It's just two screws. Uh, because the battery, this thing does have electric start, and we just have to plug in the battery and of course add oil. Like I said, I didn't really want to spend the money on this thing. Like I said, the first half of our journey, it's about eight hours of a ride. I'm not sure if there's any stuff that's going to be accessible with power, so. right off. Inside right here, the wiring is tucked behind. Let's take the wire caps off here. And I need scissors. Plugs in one way, so you can't make a mistake. There's that. That just gets tucked right down inside. This cover gets put back on. And they make two different versions of this. They make one without covers on it, and then, of course, this one with the covers on it. We wanted something quiet. Hence, this thing is completely surrounded in plastic and foam to reduce the noise. I don't want to piss people off while we're camping. Like I said, this one is electric start also. So it does come with a pull start in case needed. Okay. 
and it's in oil on this side. So there's a access door. Let's see if Miles can get over there. It's an access door right here for the to unlock it. The nice thing about this this thing too, it does come with a drain hose when you do the first oil change. So it's really actually easy in maintenance. There's an oil fill right here. Just open the cap. And it says it'll take the whole quart of oil, which is actually 0.5 liters. all the oil okay so one the first thing that you do have to set up with, to set up the inverter to make it work or the generator there is a uh, mounting hardware for shipping. These four brackets have to come off. So they do include the tool in the kit. And we just have to take these pieces off. And this is just a shipping bracket so the unit doesn't get damaged while shipping. So it's pretty, pretty simple. You just unscrew. setting up for this uh, trip now for about three weeks. We are leaving next month on the 17th. Um, and that's 17th of August. And take these brackets off. But So we've just been doing some modifications, which we'll video this week. Uh, we bought a TPMS tire sensor monitoring kit. And we bought a floor jack. Uh, just in case, we bought uh, two extra spare tires because we do not want to break down in the middle of nowhere and not have uh, some way to repair stuff ourselves as we travel because it's about a 2,500 mile trip. Um, just get these brackets off. I really didn't want to spend the money on this generator. But uh, it's for long-term use. You know, if we ever go camping and there's no power, uh, at least we have our trip. Yeah, our trip will be wrecked, and we can also use it for home in case there's ever a power failure. As I said this is a 4,500 watt uh, inverter generator. So, okay, so those are removed and. Pause the video real quick and get a funnel. Okay. So, like I said, the uh, generator comes with this adapter to plug into our propane tank. So we want to use the uh, propane to run it. One end goes to the propane tank. The other one goes right here. It just clips in. Simple. And there's a computer in the generator that tells it if it's unleaded fuel or propane. So let's fire it up and see if it works. And it's got a remote st or start, electric start.
let it run for a bit. I said it's quiet. It's quiet. It's right. quiet. Let it run for a minute. Here's the uh, 30 amp. Let's get our cord. on and see how it works. Good AC. And that has gone on. plugged into the cord of the camper. Take this. And let's turn stuff on and see how it works. So it's been about uh, 15 minutes. Generator's running, only about 50%. Air is already down to, what miles? 75 degrees. That's 77, 75. And uh, TV's on, lights are on, microwave works. Yeah, we have full power with this generator. And right now it's only running at 50%. So I'm assuming once we light the fridge or get the fridge started and whatever, fans, microwave, uh, coffee maker, I think we should have plenty of power. So yeah, we'll check back and uh, let you guys know how it's going. But so far, it is a good purchase. So today we bought the generator, bought it at Menards, what did we pay? $9.50, $8.50, mm -hmm. $9.50, whatever. It's under 1000 Um we are going on a trip, like I said, to Montreal, Canada. So we're going from Wisconsin, Michigan, Montreal, Quebec, Montreal to Vermont, to Vermont, and back home. And then back home. So it's about 2,800 miles, probably total, is our drive time. Uh, so the generator is our first purchase. Second thing is, let me switch the camera here. We bought a tire pressure monitoring system by Tire Minder. So it'll show the tire pressures and also shows the tire temperature. Um, this is a brand new trailer, but since the tires are the new original tires that came with it, they are the tires made in China, we don't want to take any risks of getting a blowout. So I think the biggest thing with RV trailer flats or blowouts is A, driving too fast, low pressure tire, and tire temperature. So as long as we stick around the 65 mile an hour trip or miles an hour range, we should be okay. But this is just an added safety feature. So we can monitor each tire as we're driving because you can't keep pulling over every half hour to check on them. Second thing we bought tire wise is we bought a and outside it's really not that loud. Uh, I did try my decimal meter on my phone. It's about 69 to 70 which I guess isn't a bad considering the air conditioner is running full, full tilt. Right now I'm trying to pull the AC down, or the camper down. So yeah, we'll just keep in contact. Well, yeah, we're leaving in uh, 30 days. Follow us, click, like, and subscribe. And uh, this next trip to Canada should be pretty epic. Thanks for watching.